Hello and welcome to the Coin Monitor. This is Manoj Dara. So, cryptocurrency markets were trading higher on optimism that a broad-based selling will not happen in the markets after the troubled crypto lender repaid 183 million dollars of its debt to the decentralized exchange maker and as Nexo, a London-based cryptocurrency lending firm is believed to acquire Vault. So, the crypto crypto platform that recently shut down its operating citing financial challenges. So, these were the two concerns that are easing in the markets and hence the market is seeing a bounce back. So, on June 13, the Celsius halted withdrawals, traders and swaps for its customers to make room to restore liquidity to the platform. Paying these debts reduces the danger of liquidity in its loan position to maker and uh, that's why the market is giving a thumbs up to this announcement so decentralized financial protocols can automatically liquidate traders collateralize assets when they cannot make a loan repayment that was actually the concerns and that concerns are coming are cooling off that's what the market analysts are saying so while the plummeting trading volume have already put indian exchanges in a bad state the country's authorities made another move Indian crypto space is under strict vigilance from the authorities. So I'm talking about the enforcement director is moving fast ahead in its probe into a possible foreign exchange crimes that's happening in India. So the ED is reportedly examining all details of the offshore transactions made by the Indian exchanges. The Indian authorities are assessing how much of the domestic funds went outside of the country. So Bitcoin has been in the consolidation phase for nearly three weeks. So bouncing between $18,000 and staying below the 22,000 levels. Meanwhile, uh, June 2022 saw the largest outflow of Bitcoin ever in the month. So on-chain data, that's what the analyst, analysts have pointed out, has indicated that over 1,50,000 Bitcoins exited centralized exchanges in the last month. So Bitcoin, the world's biggest cryptocurrency, was trading by up by 2.4% and was trading at 20,016 levels. Ethereum also traded higher by 1.5% and was trading at $1,130. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was up by 2.2% to trade at 26,776 levels. Binance BND was up by 4.1% and was trading at $236. Solana Sol was up by 4.4% to trade at $35.6. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.32, up 1.2%. 1.5%. Cardano's ADA was higher by 0.7% to trade at $0.45. Avalanche AVEX is next on the list, was trading at $18.2, up 7%. Shiba Inu was higher by 1.5%. Polkadot was up by 1% and was trading at $7. Doge, the popular meme coin, was also up by 1% and was trading at 0.067 levels. So last coin on the list is Polygon Matic, which is trading 4.5% higher at $0.51. So let's get a fundamental view from our fundamental expert, Vivek Singh. Vivek, welcome on Crypto TV. Thanks, Manoj. So, so Vivek, uh, since we are talking about a broad-based recovery in the market and there are broader concerns as far as Celsius and the other news which we have already read out to our viewers, what is your view on this current market situation? So if you look at uh, Celsius, their uh, VC firm, the shareholder, like Bank to the Future. So they have already come up with three proposals. First is that, you know, they will, uh, they will pull with Bitcoin whales and, you know, they will try to get some funds and uh, put it back to the market again and repay the people who have lost money. So this is actually creating a sense of optimism in the market, right? Yeah, it is actually. Uh, if you look at the Bank to the Future, is supporting really strong. I mean, they are supporting this project quite well with proper strategy. They are trying to, I mean, rebuild the team. In fact, they are restructuring the complete team and they will come up with a new product now. Fantastic. So since we are talking about uh, about cryptocurrency market, uh, this show is not to advise our viewers, but we are giving uh, a fundamental view, you know, so that this will help them to make their investment mm -hmm. decisions. So what is what is happening in this in this Bitcoin, if you can just mention that? So Bitcoin, if you see, like there is a lot of Bitcoin outflow right now, as you mentioned. But uh, what I see is that you know the uh, the, the Bitcoin has gone quite 2.5 percent up today, uh, which is which has not been happening for quite a while now. Exactly. So today I can see a positive trend. Probably we will have to wait and watch for next one one or two weeks, and we'll see like how the Bitcoin performs. But, sure. But today is like a positive spike and it's positive news for you know all Bitcoin investors. Uh, you know we can rely on Bitcoin for now. So Vivek, you have been tracking Ethereum for a long time and uh, its projects as well. Uh, so what is what is happening in Ethereum, uh, the merge 
stake ethereum mm-hmm. and what are the other developments that are happening in ethereum because it is uh, refusing to go about 1200 dollar limits see ethereum actually if you see the problem and the challenge is a delay uh, ethereum 2.0 was supposed to be launched by now but if you look at the delays that, is, that has been happening for a while so it's still the ethereum 2.0 merge has not happened so far so stake ether price is below ether right now why because the merge has not happened so people are losing you know confidence from stake ether because that uh, they're waiting for the merge actually and once the merge happens after after merge about you know after 6 or 12 months they should be able to withdraw stake eth so that's why you know people are losing confidence in ethereum even though it's it has it has a biggest developer community i would say is there know? a confusion as far as the stake ethereum and the ether is concerned right uh yeah see some people treat stake ether as same as ethereum which is All not right. both are different coins stake, sure yeah stake ether is a different coin it's just it's, it's not even pegged it's a different coin and ethereum is a different coin but the value of stake ether is supposed to be same as ether but the only difference is that you know they cannot use stake ether in market uh, right now uh, but they can use ethereum in the market right now so since we are talking about ethereum and you have already given a view on that uh, the other other uh, token which i want you to mention about is cardano so something is happening uh, with the vassal fork so if you can mm-hmm. just highlight that what is happening what is the outlook and what is the way forward as well so cardano if you see like vassal fork is really uh, good and you know i am expecting a lot of uh, positive news after the fork but yeah i mean uh, still the i mean if you see the market is a bit confused right now i mean there is no uh, 100% i would say there is no 100% confidence in cardano right now but still i'm expecting you know uh, after some weeks i might i might expect some spike so so there is an expectations in the market that once this fork is completed there are a lot of erc uh, 20 tokens uh, like structure will happen on cardano and there are broader expectation as far as analysts are concerned are they are they expecting it correct or you have a different idea okay see the major challenge with cardano is that it's not evm based that is the biggest challenge i foresee with cardano because this is the blockchain which is not evm based right now if you see most of the developers they like evm based blockchains and that's why if you see developer community of cardano is not as strong as other evm based blockchain like phantom avalanche they have very strong developer communities fantastic fantastic that's a that's a very good view which vivek you have given so since we are talking about uh, uh, about blockchains and the way forward so solana has recently announced that uh, they are going to uh, do something in the mobile ecosystem space so and a similar announcement is coming uh, from polygon so so what is happening you know all these all these big players are moving towards the mobile ecosystem is there a shift from the usual business the, the the cryptocurrency market is down and they are shifting towards the mobile ecosystem yeah of course you know uh, like ethereum solana i mean solana solana and polygon specifically they have been in the market for quite long now and you know they have to come up with something new some new innovation to attract you know customers to attract uh, investors so they have to come up with new strategy and as you know like people are more comfortable with mobile devices compared to you know desktop or other devices sure. so this might be their strategy to attract customers to attract investors to come up back come back to the market and if you look at solana it has not performed really well you know from past uh, one year all right that's thank you so much vivek for being a part of this show that's all there is in today's the coin monitor this is manoj dara but keep watching crypto tv for more such interesting update thank you thanks manoj